Hello friends, this is Pranesh Kumar Misra once again before you. Uh, you might have experienced keeping a dog as a pet with you. Do you have a dog or any a, a pet? Especially about the dog. Dog is really very faithful. You might have uh, listened the name Mastiff, Dal uh, Dalmatian, Alsatian dog and Pomeranian dog etc. Yes. No, no. Today, I am not just to talk about the species of dog. Today, I have just to discuss from literature book of class 9, the second unit, a dog named Duke by William D. Ellis. By William D. Ellis, a dog named Duke. Yes, students, in this story, I have prepared a short note that I will read for you that will be very useful for you if you revise with the help of my video. In this story, Duke is a dog, Doberman Pinscher dog, 4 years old, uh, weighing 23 kg. And the protagonist of the story, chief character of the story, is a journal salesman. Later you see at the last of the story, ending of the story, denouement of the story that he became a national sales manager. Who? Chuk. So the rhyming word Chuk and his dog is Duke. So Chuk Hooper is the main character of the story. And Chuk Hooper decided to bring Duke, the dog, by visiting his kennel again and again, and he decides to bring him home while Mary, wife of Chuk, is not ready to bring any more pet in the house. Any more pet means one is already existing. So, friend, we will see that how a faithful dog proved to be really faithful in the story. The story is about a dog and his master, how the dog helps his master achieve his goal and during bad time he helps his existence and proves to be a faithful fellow. Let us start understanding this. It is a story of a young Hooper. He was a healthy person of height 6 feet 1 inch. He was a good player of university football team. He was a journal sales manager for a chemical company and everybody liked him. The story starts like this. Introduction of the main character is given here. Who is he? Hooper. Chuk. Hooper. Story moves further like this. One day when he was returning to home in his car, in his car from his office, an accident took place. An accident took place. Another car pulled out in front of him. He was severely injured. He was severely injured and had a hemorrhage, brain hemorrhage, have a hemorrhage in his brain. When his wife Marcy reached to the hospital, she found that her husband was in a critical stage. Now see, wife was very much relaxed at home. She gets the news, she reaches the hospital. After remaining in a critical stage for a month, some men from his company came to hospital and asked him, Chuk to take a rest for one complete year and a person who had been doing work suddenly he got a break of one complete year it was a big blow for him Hooper was in wheelchair after six weeks after six weeks of accident Hooper was able to sit in his wheelchair wheelchair oh my god 
what happened further he was treated regularly by massage bath exercise and so on wild walker was the helping hand for him when duke saw his master he first time when duke was out of the house and when he uh, the duke the duke the dog was um, bo- brought home and uh, actually he had seen his master uh, healthy and as soon as he sees his master he jumps upon him just to celebrate the meeting but chuk was not able to handle it uh, with full pleasure like early time so chuk at that time could not maintain his balance and fell down when he uh, when he falls down on the ground then the dog realized that something is wrong with my master something is wrong with my master that dog had a sense when the dog saw the pathetic condition of the master he never jumped on him again he took up a post beside his master's bed around the clock around the clock so long duke lay down with a criticizing sight on his master oh my master what happened to you why are you not so active with me now oh god what happened to my master perhaps this type of feeling was there in the look of duke duke started his duty early he controlled hooper and enabled him to take four steps this this line suggests that very soon the duke the dog helped him pull up from his wheelchair with the help of his wife first day hooper could stand and could take a step and he was panting he was restless and panting and he sat back in his chair in the further development the dog pulled him keep pulling him and he tries to say that my master try to stand up my master try to stand up you can you can and then he keeps dragging his master he stands and the next day he walks for four steps on january 4 hooper walked about 200 meter alone without help of duke this was not so easy duke kept pulling him kept balancing him and whenever during these exercises of walking and learning to walk once again uh, when chuk fell down duke sat there and waited for the master to stand up again and all these exercise continued when when on january 4th hooper walked about 200 meters alone without the help of duke he reached to the branch of his of his company and there he requested that he want to work at least for an hour in the company at first they were not agree but manager could understand he was a considerable man and he allows him to work just for one hour daily by the way the argument was that that how he would be paid every day one hour duty how will it be possible to pay him as a monthly salary hooper with his wife marcy and duke when slowly they regained strength and then hooper with the help of duke kept doing lots of exercise and now he began to do the work for full time and as being a laborious man he progressed a lot he always met his target 
whatever given by his company and very soon he moved to another place with his wife Marcy and Duke to the new house. One day it so happens that uh, some guests, some guests engaged Chuck Hooper and they were talking with guests. Suddenly Hooper listens a screeching sound, break sound of screaming tires outside his house. It was nothing but the accident, the pitiful accident of the dog Duke. Duke was seriously injured. They rushed to the hospital. Duke was severely injured and at last died. This was a very sad moment for Chuck and his wife Marcy. Same Marcy once who was not ready to welcome Duke in the house. See the condition. Now she was in weeping condition for the same dog, the Duke. Marcy and all of the people who knew Chuck and Duke's story. They were also grieved. Duke had performed his duty very well. He had made his master stand up on his feet and he got Chuk back on his feet. The line is same repeated here. All appreciated Duke and as if it was a special tribute to Duke that the chemical company headquarters passed an order to promote Charles Hooper Chuck Hooper as their assistant national sales manager. National sales manager. So thus students, this was the story of Chuck Hooper, uh, an athletic well-built man at first, but he met with an accident and during that uh, hard blow and hard time, the dog pet dog named Duke helped him a lot and helped him walk and stand back on his feet and uh, kept sticking until his master became the master of his body once again and then we see how faithful are the dog really and Duke proved that for what he was selected and loved by his master he proved his love, he paid his love back in one way and before he leaves this world his master was one not only standing on his feet once again but he from the journal sales manager became the national sales manager a grand success. This was the story of Chuk and Duke and dear students, I hope you will uh, revise two, three times. You will watch this video so that the story you can listen and that will be deeply imprinted in your mind. Happy reading.